And I'm bringing you another squad builder because the feedback you gave me on the last squad builder was amazing and I just want to thank all of you. But anyway, this time we've got a Liga BBVA team in a 4-3-1-2 with quite some expensive players. But anyway, let's start off. In goal, we do have Diego Alves and he is definitely the most overpowered keeper in the game, in my opinion, and I definitely recommend him. Left back, we've got Cohen Trow. He only cost me 4,900, which is very good because he offers a good attacking option and a great defensive option. Centre back, we've got Sereno. I only got him for 500 coins and he's just there because I didn't want to splash the cash on anyone else. And then we've got Miranda, other centre back. The 75 paces is main st stats with 78 defending and 80 heading. I got him for 900 coins and his pace does the work for me. Good defender. Then we've got Jao Pereira, the right back. He's got 86 pace and 76 defending, which is amazing. He does the job very well and you don't need Danny Alves when you've got him. Left centre mid, I've got Kaka. Kaka brings a great attacking option and amazing defensive option. He was only um, uh, 11k, which isn't too bad. Oh yeah, Diego Alves was 6k and Jao Pereira was 1,600. But anyway, Kaka, I'll definitely get him because he's just an all-round good player. Song, he is the heart of this team. When I'm attacking, he always seems to be there. When I'm defending, he always seems to be there. He's very good at bringing the ball up and creating attacks. He was only 3,000, which was a steal. Then says Fabregas, I got him for 23,000 and he is really good. His pace does let him down, but that 90 passing and 80 shots and 84 dribbling all work a charm. Because in his position right centre mid, pace isn't really needed. It helps, but he just does the job amazingly. I'll probably play him centre forward. He is that good. I really like Cesc Fabregas and I definitely recommend him. Then next we've got um, Jose Callihon. He's got 90 pace, 74 shooting, 79 dribbling. He do, does have three star skills this year, which is really good, as it was really disappointing last year with his really bad dribbling. I mean, f um, really bad skill level, because I can't really use players without the roulette, but for 900 coins, you can't complain. Now we've got the big two up top who we've seen from the beginning. Karim Benzema has got 85 pace, 83 shots, and 84 dribbling, and 76 heading, which is a bonus. I got him for about 63k I think at the time I made this video. He's a very good striker, his pace is a lie, his shooting, it, oh, some games it's on fire and he never misses, but other games it's just dreadful. But I would definitely pick him up over Falcao. Falcao's got 78 pace, 83 dribbling and 70, no 83 shots and 78 dribbling. Falcao is very good but because of his pace he doesn't do much and he feels really small and weak for me. That's why I didn't really like him and it was really a letdown because 36k you would expect an out and out goal scorer but he didn't bring that which was really depressing. But Falcao is very, very average but this is a team I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Cheers for watching lads, please leave a like, comment, any feedback and subscribe. I'll see you all next.